Hello, this is Craig from Kershalton Advisory. Let's continue on with our Section 1-1 practice task for the Microsoft Excel expert exam. First thing we're going to do is, now we still have our My Macros file left open from Part 1 in this series. If you don't have that open, go ahead and open it right now. Next, we're going to follow along with the directions here. So we want to open our Excel Expert 1B workbook. So we can open a new file either by going into File in the Backstage view, Open, and into Folders, or we can use our keyboard shortcuts, which will be Control-O. To open a new file takes us to the same place. Now I'm going to select Folders here because that 1.1b file is in Objective 1 folder. There's 1.1b. Let's open it up. And we are going to enable macros with this. Now, sometimes you'll get that uh, more elaborate message box. Otherwise, you'll get uh, like a yellow bar across the top here with an option to enable or disable. So this is our 11B file. Our next step is to open the Visual Basic Editor. Now, there's two ways you can do that. One is from the Developer tab, and one's with a keyboard shortcut. Um, you may not have a Developer tab. If you've not worked uh, in macros in the past, you may not have a, a Visual Basic Editor, or excuse me, the Developer tab available to you. So let's fix that. We're going to go into the Backstage view by clicking File, down to Options. And then once we're in Options, we're going to go down to Customize Ribbon. And over here in the Tab section on the right-hand side, we are going to find the one that says Developer. And toggle that box to a check mark. Then hit OK. Now when we look at our ribbon up at the top here, you'll notice that there is a Developer tab. So we can click Developer, and then this is our Visual Basic Editor here. As you note, it does show us what the shortcut is, and that's always my preference to use. So rather than clicking on this, let's practice our shortcut, which is Alt F11, and that opens up our Visual Basic Editor. So what they've asked us to do is to copy the macros from the 11B workbook to the My Macros workbook, and then close the Visual Basic Editor. So on the left-hand side here, we can see here is our 11B folder or file. Here is our My Macros file. And one difference that you'll notice in their file pass is that Excel S Expert 11B has a module section. So it's actually in this modules is where the macros are stored. In my macros workbook, it does not have that module section. So what we can do is we can actually just grab that module and drag it into the file in order to copy it. So I've just grabbed module one with the mouse. I've dragged down to the my macros workbook and clicked paste. So now inside the my macros file is module one now. Now I can double click on this module one. And sure enough, this actually now is showing the VBA code and the instructions that are in there and demonstrate that it has been successfully copied across. All right, so we're going to return to the My Macros workbook and to toggle out of the Visual Basic Editor, we can either hit the close box up at the upper right or we can repeat our keyboard shortcut, which is Alt. F11, and now we're back to our regular um, Excel layout that you're familiar with. All right, so we're going to go back to the My Macros and save it. So now those macros that we copied across are going to be located in this workbook for us to use in the future. All right, now our next set of instructions here is to record a simple macro and store it in the personal macro workbook. So a simple macro, what we're going to do to record a macro, 
I'm just going to select any cell here in our worksheet. And what we're going to do is start recording a macro. So there's two ways that we can do it. One is by going back to our developer tab and selecting record macro. The other option we have is there is actually an icon near the bottom left of your screen which shows which is the record macro button. So either way, by clicking either of these, we'll get that macro recording started. So let's click here to start. All right, um, I'm going to name this macro um, my name, and I'm going to have as a shortcut key Shift N, so N for name. We're going to store it in this, excuse me, we're going to store it in our personal macro workbook. And for description, we're going to put uh, enters my name into the active cell. OK. All right, so you'll notice that now this icon has switched to a box. And so what will happen is when I click that, that will stop my recording. So the recorder is going to save and and translate into VBA code any action that I perform. Now it doesn't have a timer on it, so it's not going to be as slow as it takes me to record it. It's also not going to record any mouse moves. Um, it will record if I click and activate any new cells, but it's not going to necessarily notice that I am clicking different tabs in our ribbon. So as I said in this description, Let's type our name into that cell. OK. Hit Enter when you're done. And then we're going to use our mouse and hit the Stop button. Perfect. We've recorded our first macro. If you want, we can check it out and make sure it worked. So just enter any other cell and hit your shortcut key, uh, which was Control shift n and sure enough, it is typed in our macro. All right, so now our next step is to return to the Visual Basic Editor, copy the macros from the My Macro Workbook to the Personal Macro Workbook, and then close the Visual Basic Editor. So again, let's go into the Visual Basic Editor with our shortcut. So we're now into the Visual Basic Editor. And we want to copy what's in my macros. So here are my macros. And so you'll see this is the code. Excuse me. This is the code in the my macros module. And we are going to copy these into the personal macro workbook. So here's our personal macro workbook. If we, we notice here it already has two modules. Here's the one where we recorded our name. So we'll close these out, and then we'll take the My Macros module, copy it into the personal macro workbook. So there we go. Now we have two module ones. Or excuse me, I have two of them. You should only have one. And we're going to close our Visual Basic Editor. with our shortcut key. All right, next they would like us to unhide the Visual Basic Editor, or excuse me, our personal macro workbook. So in order to do that, we are going to go into our View tab. So we can use our mouse to do that. We are going to select Unhide. And here we can see here's our personal macro workbook. So we are going to unhide it by clicking OK. Now we can see it. Now it doesn't look like anything because there's not actually any data in any of the worksheets in this. It's just a, effectively a container to store macros. And what happens every time you open Excel, it actually opens up this personal macro workbook in the background. So you have access to it in uh, any of the other documents that you're using. 
So we're going to go back to the view um, tab on the ribbon, and I'm going to do that with my shortcut of Alt W. And then I'm going to use the H key to select hide. So now that uh, worksheet is now hidden again for us. Thanks for following along through this. I hope you have a little bit better understanding of macros and how they work. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you thought this was all right. Send me a comment if you'd like me to make any changes uh, or improvements on future videos. Thanks for watching.